And junkyard for me has always been a, a story that a story of redemption, a story for me now. It's about celebrating everything hard or bad that's ever happened to you. And when you come out on the other side of it and you realize that the perseverance that as a human being through the bad things that, that you take on to know that, that you don't want to make anybody else feel the way that that made you feel. And persevering through that time and getting to the point of understanding to where you're at peace with all of the terrible things that have ever happened to you because they're who, that's what defined your character. And that's what made you, gave you perspective and made you realize how great that your life really is. Junkyard was the forgiveness and the revival of all of that for me. Um, very, very personal song to me. I wrote it when I was 17. And every line has a symbolism. Every, every line in it has you know, something to do with something that was happening back then. Um, and especially at the end when it gets to the point of being redeeming because truly our struggles are what define us. If you can't be thankful for the things that made you who you are, if you can't be thankful for all the hard things that have happened to you, and I think you kind of miss out. I know that love brought me out of things. And love, love brought me to understanding and feeling nothing but love and compassion for the people that had done stuff to me. And, and Junkyard is a reminder that we need to celebrate all the hardships that we have because that's what defines us. That's what makes us who we are. And that's the big rock opera explanation of that for me. And some great guitar parts in there and great stuff. The guys, I felt like, killed it, and uh, it was fun. Nico did a great job of doing some of the programming on that song, added some loops and some things to it that really made it darker in places where it needed to be done. And uh, But I, I got in touch with Bela Fleck to come play on, uh, on a song, and he said he would do it. And so he got in, and I, I think he assumed that I was going to have him play on like a bluegrass song, but I had him play on Junkyard. I love the way his imagination applies to things. So... Junkyard is even more weird and awesome because of Bela Fleck playing on it. But getting to know him through the process too, man, just unbelievable. His dedication to making it right and to wanting to edit it and wanted the notes to be there. I mean, we had six pages of notes go back and forth on his parts for, uh, for Junkyard. And um, having a legend like that play on my record for me was a big deal. Um, and if you really listen to banjo on Junkyard, it's... It's amazing, really cool. Uh, it was a great, you know, team effort to uh, to get that one where where it needed to be. And at the end of it, it's just like whoa. So I hope that you that people listen to that one really loud and on a good stereo.